I'm back, baby. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm wearing the conference champions of last year's hat. Oh, man, bro. First of all, first of all, congratulations to the Buccaneers. They're moving on to the face of the Detroit Lions in Detroit. Uh, props to them with all that being said let's get into it ladies and gentlemen let's get into it I don't know what's coming bro there's a lot of speculation a lot of rumors you know that we're gonna fire Nick Seriani we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that shit what I think that we should do is obviously like hope, you know what I mean? Brian Johnson gets interviewed, passes his interview, moves on to the Carolina Panthers. After that being said, I think we sire, we sire, we fire Shane Desai. We fire Shane Desai. We let Matt Patricia go. Uh, and we start searching again, dude. New coordinators. Now, if we fire Nick, where do we go from there? You know, I, 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 don't, I don't see it. I don't see it happening. I really don't. Because really, dude, if, if you look at reality... He's made the fourth down calls, yes. But Brian Johnson has been making the play calls. Shane Desai was making the play calls on offense. Now Nick Sirianni even said it himself, dude. He said it himself, bro. There's a big difference. And there's an arc. That comes with doing play calls. And and I told you, like, honestly, dude, it's... Man, bro, if I knew how to be an offensive coordinator, dog. Let me tell you guys. I would freaking plot... Plot... plot Call plays for the Eagles like Jim Johnson did. And I would retire. The, I wouldn't give a fuck, dude. I, I really would not give a fuck about any other coaching job, dude. Give me fucking 700 a million dollars and I'll be good for life there. I, I really, really, really would, dude. I really would. I'm not even playing. Dude. I really would play call there until I retired. And I would at least try to win three championships in six years. That would be my fucking goal, dude. If I would able to, if I would be able to accomplish that, then I go on and take head coaching, you know, opportunities, whatever, whatnot. You know, this game, I swear to God, man. I mean, you can ask anybody that lives with me, like you know, that's around me watching the fucking game, bro. Uh, I felt like this game took a week long for me for us to figure out and we didn't even figure it out then we didn't even figure it out then guys the fact that we didn't have AJ Brown
didn't matter. We didn't win the ball. We didn't run the ball, ladies and gentlemen. We did not run the ball. And when we did, it didn't matter. It was too late to run the fucking ball. Once again, we go to Tampa Bay and we got fucking blown out again, dude. Again, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't, I don't know how the Eagles players, Jalen Hurts, everybody on the fucking sideline of the Eagles does it, dude. Because I would have lost my shit. I would have gotten Brian Johnson's fucking face or whoever the fuck's calling plays. And I would have told him, what the fuck are you doing? Because what the fuck are they doing, dude? What the fuck are they doing, dude? They didn't even figure out nothing for the fucking blitz. Once again, you know, thanks to uh, Philly 500, thanks to, uh, I'm sorry, not Philly 500, Leon Bronson, Philly 500, and all the other Eagle content YouTubers that explained, we don't have no answer for the goddamn, we still don't have no fucking answer. We still didn't give an answer for it. We did not give Jalen Hurts an answer for it. Instead, these these gentlemen that we have on the fucking sideline, God bless them, you know, they did not give him a simpler answer. They just said, let's run fucking five fucking, goddamn, five receivers out there. To see if we get it. You know what pisses me off the most about this game? The fact that we had third and twos. Like three out of four drives. And these motherfuckers are so ignorant. dude, To run the fucking football. For those two fucking yards. It is just out of this world. It's mind boggling. Sometimes, like today, dude, and about these, some of these five games that we fucking lost in the fucking regular season. Pride, bro. Ego. Can only go so far for a fucking man or a woman. I don't give a fuck who you are. Where you just going way off the rails where you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And that's the case in play calling in this fucking team. That's why we lost this game. That's why we lost this game, ladies and gentlemen. We lost this game. We're out of the playoffs. Our Super Bowl hopes are gone for at least this season. Because of those reasons, guys. Those fucking reasons. The fact. Now, if I would have known that this is Brian Johnson's third NFL season. And he's coming off of being a quarterback coach. I, I would have seen all the chaos we're going to go through. 24 fucking passes to 8 runs. I mean, it's just sad, dog. It, it, it really, it's just sad, guys. It's just, it's just plain fucking sad, dude. How we went out. We went out. Let me tell you guys something, man. This is why Brian Johnson, Nick Sirianni, every, basically the whole fucking coaching staff is going to get fired. For these reasons. And let me tell you guys. We lost worse. We had a worse loss. Believe it or not. Than what the Cowboys had. They lost by 12. You know how much we lost by? What's 9 minus 32? 
do it for me. We lost by 23 fucking points. 23 fucking points. 23 fucking points. And you can see it, dude, that it was just fucking play calling the whole team. The fact that we weren't even in this fucking game, dude. And I blame it on coaching, dude. I, re I really do. Mainly on the fucking offensive coordinator, man. Because regardless, yes, we missed tackles on defense. Yes, we allowed big plays. But we fucking would have been better, dude. If our offense was at least in the fucking game. But Brian Johnson didn't allow us to fucking do that. Nick Sariani, man, I don't know what the fuck happened with him, dude. I, I really, I don't know what's gonna happen, bro. I don't know what's gonna happen in this off season. I don't know what moves, you know, Jeffrey Lurie is gonna make, or you know, Howie Roseman. I, I'm still gonna stick with this team. I'm always gonna stick with this goddamn team, man. I witnessed the Super Bowl, thank God, bro. You know, Nick Foles, 2017. I think Jalen Hurst has the potential of being there again, but man, dude, if, if we fire Nick now, I mean, what the fuck's next for us? You know, who's our next head coach? Better yet, the, the, the better question is who's our next offensive play caller and defensive play caller? That's the bigger question. Because, I mean, if we fire our head coach now, what, what do we expect next season? A nine, another 9 and 8 season? You know, we got 11 wins this season. I, I think that we kept Nick Sirianni. I don't I don't think this is good enough for us to let him go uh, the, despite 32 to 9. First round exit, dude. I mean. It, it's just too big of a fucking risk to just go out your way. Let Nick go. What's next? Right? Like, like, what's next? But like I said, whether we get Bill Belichick or whoever, What, 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 what are we going to get out of that? You know, what, what's the most we're going to get out of that new head coach? They've got to adjust. They've got to get their own play callers. I mean, we might be looking at another 99 season next year. To start over all over again? You know, and people are going to be like, well, what about Jalen Hurts? Why don't you question your quarterback? Because, dude... Let me tell you why I'm not questioning Jalen Hurts. You gotta look at play calling. You gotta look at punts. Why they're being why why we're going three now? What kind of incomplete passes are we having? And if you look at them, dude, I don't have even have to fucking tell you this. You can go look at them yourself. If you look at them. We got passes inside people's hands that are dropped. They, they might be last minute drops, but the fact that the play call is just playing out dumb. 24, 27 passes to fucking eight. Or 10 to 30 fucking bad. Like, you explain it to me. It, does, it, does that look predictable to you as a, as a defensive play caller? Is it easy for you to be like, you know what? Let me play pass defense. Since they're passing it so much times. 
Because to me, yes, it, that's fucking easy. To, you, you know that they're going to pass it. You know you're going to blitz on third down because they don't have no answer. They're just passing it all game long. I mean, to me, that's why we lost this game, guys. That's why we lost this game. I'm always going to be fly was fly. You know, on the road to victory. Lead green. Whatever you, you guys want to say, dude. I'm wearing my shit, so I, I didn't fucking take off my hat. I didn't fucking take off my fucking jersey. I didn't fucking, you know what? Let me turn off the game. I stayed tuned until the very end because, dude, I'm evaluating everything. I'm evaluating, and like I said at the beginning of the video, man, if I knew how to be an offensive coordinator, and when I say no, how to be an offensive coordinator. And do offensive play calls. I mean, running the fucking football, passing the fucking football, RPOs, screens, and when to call them. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, quarterbacks needs. Telling my quarterback, you need an audible. You need to read shit. Know when the blitz coming. What are you going to do? You got to question everything. You really do. And I understand, you know what? Challenging your quarterback. But there's a case to be made. Ladies and gentlemen. There's a case to be made. You could be challenging your quarterback way too much to do over. And I think that's what happened today. That's what's been happening. Ryan Johnson wants... Jalen Hurts to figure it out on his own. On broken plays that he's calling. Brian Johnson's calling. And, and to me, it's just like, no, 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 no. You, you can't always, that's not always going to work. Yes, you know what? Jalen Hurts can do a broken plays. But you enough as an offensive coordinator, you need to work up a drive where he don't have to fucking do that. You know, that, that's that's one, two, maybe three series at most where broken plays happen. He's going to have to figure it out. You know, he sees a certain defense, audibles, reads it. But to do that on every fucking drive? That's where I, that's where I have an issue. Because, I mean, no. Like, you, you cannot have your... What the fuck are you for, used for then? As an offensive coordinator, doing the play calls. Right? You're supposed to execute an excellent drive without having to do that shit. Uh, like I said, man, at the beginning of the video, congratulations to the Bucks. Congratulations to DeAndre Swift. I hope we keep him, but if he goes to another team, he deserves his contract, man. 1,000 yards. Congratulations to A.G. Brown. Another 1,000 yard season. 1,300 yards. Congratulations to, to uh, Devontae Smith. Another 1,000 yards. I hope we get Jason Kelsey back, but if we don't, I understand. He looked pretty emotional today. Um, obviously, it wasn't the season we expected to end this early. I made a trade in in a in a in a playoff team bet for the Eagles. Unfortunately, we had an early exit. But do I regret it? Hell no, man. Hell no. I will live and die with this fucking team. I will live and die with this team. 
That's why I said if I ever become an offensive coordinator or head coach or anything, I would, I would just, I would just stay with the Eagles, man, for all of my career and try to win championships for this fucking team. Man. I, I really would. All I want is to see Jalen Hurts win a championship and to see the Eagles as a team win championships. Championships, bro. And I might have saw one and, and I might have teared up and, and cried a little bit. But but it'd be nice to see, you know, us win another one and even another one. I just want us to win, dude. I just want this team to win, bro. So I'm hoping next season, or in the off season, I should say, uh, it's not too bad. I hope next days, but it, but it might be it. it. It might be. I mean, there's that's all the rumors that I'm hearing. It might be it for him, but I hope and I don't think it is dude, for Nick. I think we give him another year. Give him. Yeah. Get him hunt for true coordinators, dude. Some legit ones. Some fucking hardcore motherfuckers. And I think we got this shit unlocked. I think we can, we can, you know, come back next season, get number one seed, make another run at this bitch. Make another run at the bitch. Because to be honest, dude, I never complain about this shit. And it's not an excuse. My 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 reason, or you want to say excuses, right? Uh, it, it was my announcement. T today, I feel like he lost us the game because of his ignorance. So, like I said, people just they stay at their pride, they stay at their ego at the so fucking high level, man. It, it's just there's no coming down from it. You know what I mean? There's just no coming out from it. We lived and died off of his pay calling. And it's just fucking sad, man, that we, we didn't use all our potential at running back depth. Why have him, right? Um, and it just sucks, man. It, re it really does. I mean, and I, I feel like no running back's gonna wanna come play for us. Just because of the fact that the way we use, utilize, you know, or you, we have usage of our running backs, we don't even use them. We don't even use them, man. And, and and I think it had a lot to do with our coordinator. But we'll see what's up. The season is over, ladies and gentlemen. The season is over. It's time to put the hat up. The next time you'll see me in an Eagles jersey, I will be wearing a regular Eagles hat. We are no longer conference champions. We have been eliminated. Uh, you heard it first from your boy, you know, Jay Sanchez, J.T. Sanchez. Remember to subscribe to your channel for notifications. Uh, it's time to move on to basketball, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to move on, move on in basketball. We got Villanova. Hopefully we'll get into the March Madness Tournament. We got the 76ers, Tyrese Maxey, uh, Joel Embiid, and, and Tobias Harris just going off this season with their new head coach. It's impressive, man. Um, going out with a bang for the Philadelphia Eagles 11 win season bro uh, I'm, I'm happy for what we tried to accomplish at the beginning of the season it's just unfortunate the way it ended things are what they are things are what they are and I had no huge changes as Jason Kelsey and other players have mentioned are coming the Eagles so have a good night ladies and gentlemen next week basketball 
I might do some reviews on, on the playoff games. I don't think so, right? But I do want to do some 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 76er reactions, man. I, I'm, I'm getting there with basketball. It sometimes gets a little bit tough to get over football. It is my first sport. So. What a 2023 season we had. It's over. Unfortunately, it ended pretty badly, bro. Admittedly. Pretty badly. But still and forever. Fly Eagles fly! You heard it first from your boy. Subscribe to my channel. Follow your boy. Turn on your notifications. Peace!